racing here out of women's 400 meter final. What does Anna Hall have to do here? And, you know, recovery is a piece of this. She's had the one race yesterday to get into this final, but that five event first day can be a drain at altitude. Look, as long as she's continuing to run quarter miles just because, what is that going to mean for her outdoors in terms of her fitness? She, she's doing this voluntarily. This is 800 work, right? <laughs> so she'll have the draw in lane six at the top of that very high bank here in Albuquerque, the finals of the women's 400 meters. Oh, boy. Not only I was talking to her agent, Paul Doyle, right after she finished the pentathlon, and she had had a conversation, was like, maybe we could do one more to see if I can break the record. Wow. And he said, no, we're going we're gonna to focus on outdoors. But that is kind of her mentality at 21 years of age. She's already looking at records and going, yeah, I want them. That is a tough event, as, as anybody who's ever been around track and field knows. She's not as afraid of the pain. And all the great multi-event athletes, including our own Trey Hardy, they're just not afraid of pain. I'm a sprinter. We are, we're of a, a slightly different mindset. <laughs> you tell a sprinter we got to run a quarter mile. We're like, uh, do we have to, coach? No such, no such luck with, uh, with, with Ms. Hall. Not even close. Remember that name. She's going to be around. And she's already won a medal at Worlds. So everyone remains in their respective lanes. That was just a callback. And she's already set a personal best this year of 51.45. Only Robinson behind her has ever run faster than that lifetime. And so Rob this is going to be a fight. Robinson in lane five, the runner-up a year ago in Spokane, would like nothing more than a U.S. title here in Albuquerque. And this time we're underway cleanly for this women's 400. Two laps of this 200-meter track indoors. So you stay in your lanes for the first three quarters, and then it is a race to the rail on the main straightaway. I can tell you, if I was behind Anna Hall in this race, I would not want this to turn into a race of wheels. So I think Robinson is doing the right thing. You have to get in front of her, but nope. Anna Hall will take the bell, 2337. And now, good luck trying to get past somebody who does seven events outdoors. Well, Robinson doesn't have a lot of opportunity here to make up ground as Anna Hall is chasing down a little bit of history here in Albuquerque after setting the American record of the number two all-time score in the indoor pentathlon. She's trying to stay in her lane and adds to it an individual 400-meter title. Huge personal best for her, 51.04. And like I said before the race, she is not afraid of the pain, and there's lots of it right now. So she took it at the bell. I know Robinson had to be thinking, where's all this foot speed coming from from Anna Hall? But as I said before, you don't want to turn it into a race of wills because there's no questioning Anna Hall's heart. And when they let her get to the bell first, I felt like that was it. And it was. No contest. This has to be the first time that somebody's done a 400 and a pentathlon double at USA Indoors. What a fantastic accomplishment for Anna Hall. I think she was feeling the uh, the altitude there and those <laughs> six events that she had. Five on Thursday, a semifinal in this race on wow. Friday, and wins a U.S. Indoor National title. A woman you'll be hearing from in a lot of